Okay, here's another Infinite Crisis game coming your way, this time with Shazam in the jungle. You can see my team on the top, the enemy team on the bottom, and we have a Crypto on the field. We also have a Flash. He seems to be a pretty popular character from what I understand. I warn you, don't me be. Hey! Check this out! Shazam! And here we are with the cat. Right here I was just taking a quick look at his recommended items and realized some of those suck. And I felt like playing Captain more like a tanky AP bruiser sort, which is why I'm going for the Marauder Ring. If I want tenacity, I'd rather get the uh, Diana's Bracers rather than the Marauder Shield. Sadly, I will not be able to take advantage of the Wilt region that comes with the Marauder item because, just the simple fact, I use energy. So right there, they're pinging the hot spot. They want to go over there and skirmish. I didn't want to go, but it's going to pay off. If you didn't already tell, I'm recording this after the fact. Drones in 30 seconds. Since I was playing on jungle in the bottom half, whether or not that one camp gets stolen doesn't really impact me. Not to mention I don't have anything like detonate to take it more quickly. Not to mention, early on, Shazam doesn't really take stuff fast. Once you have a few extra points in a lightning field, it changes a bit. So Flash is back, as you may have guessed since you've seen the video in the first place. And right there, Robin jumped in and Joker goes out of place. So I go ahead and drop the lightning field on him. And I use Psychic Assault there to make sure that he can't get away. Sapphire claims first blood, but I still get the assist. And we get to take this camp, and you can see how little it's worth in the big picture. I mean, yeah, you do deny it from a particular enemy, it's just... Still not that much. I, if not for the assist, I probably would have actually made more just by um, jungling in the first place. So, yeah. So he's going to go ahead and take our version of it, I'm just coming along in the back. I want to get along my route, start getting some more EXP, because I need points in my passive, and I need my ult in order to successfully gank. And if you're wondering what Shazam's passive is, it's Power of Zeus. Once you use an ability, you get a charge of your passive. Once you have two charges, the next time you use an ability, the ability will do what it normally does. I believe it's free to use in terms of energy, and it will also do something a little extra. So, right there I'm looking at the queue to try to figure out where is the stun exactly. It's in the passive, which is why I think on Shazam you want to max lightning field for your clear and just a little bit of DPS. Then you want to change gears and max your passive so that you have some CC at your disposal. Absolutely. The Q is a skill shot that will bounce around to nearby enemies, and when enriched by power of Zeus, it will stun the enemy for a certain duration. I don't remember if it maxes out at 2 seconds or what, but that's why you want to max this passive second. It increases the duration of the stun so you can gank harder. So I went ahead and picked up the next point in the Marauder Ring. And I just gotta keep moving, keep the points coming. And in reality, I probably could have ganked at level 2 if I had just charged a Power of Zeus. It's just the opportunity didn't really present itself. And I probably could have picked up the health region item, it's just I didn't know what I'd be up to at this point. And your lightning field has the lowest cooldown of all your abilities, so if you just want to use a move for the sake of charging your passive, that's the one. Not too much the energy cost isn't too bad. So right there I got three of the... I ducked into the shadows, and Superman's none the wiser. 
And yeah, I stole his stuff. He took the regen, but that's fine. I got the credits. Now I get to come take ours. Now, if Superman were serious, he could have followed me. And then this could have backfired a bit, but he didn't. So, going over more of Shazam stuff, your W, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a defensive buff. You get a surge of defensive stats. That's the gist of it. When Power of Zeus is active, it's something like one and a half times the normal bonus, I believe. You can see the numbers there exactly. And I'm thinking, um, depending on the circumstances, that will determine whether you max the Q or W second. If you need the defensive stats, W would be the way to go, but if you need the poke, Q would be the superior choice. As for Lightning Field, its power of Zeus ability is that it becomes a slow. And then once I get the Seal of Atlantis, or I forgot what the item is called exactly, but it turns my abilities into slows anyway, you can really stall someone. And if they don't have a way to jump or dash or blink or something along those lines, it becomes a lot easier to kill them, especially if you have a DPS with you. So Robin and I converge on the capture point, and I'm willing to go to theirs, but Robin isn't. So even though I start hanging over here thinking, hey, he'll follow me, we're on the same page. Or not. Sadly, I don't have any movement speed, I don't have the Kryptonian war armor or anything just yet. But the way I try to do this is I lead off with the Q for the stun, then I can pop the E and the W to basically recharge my passive. Right there, Superman left. I don't know what was going on when I was recording this, but I had players dropping in and out of games. I don't know if it was just the servers weren't stable or what. Hell yeah! And I'm about to make a mistake by putting a point into something other than my E or passive. But first of all, I need to get my ult. Now we can try our first gank. Since I have Zatanna Psychic Assault, I can kind of keep someone locked down. Sad part is my first gank. I missed the stun. So, yeah. Mega Wonder Woman ate a lot of tower shots just trying to finish them off, but she doesn't deal damage just yet. She needs some items first. Sweet. But now I have my ult. I'm trying to figure out can I see him to ult over the wall and potentially kill him? And in the end, I don't find him. Our top turret is under attack. So Robin and Sinestro trade. And believe it or not, we're almost at the halfway point of this particular game. So now that I have a better feel for the Q, I don't think I miss it for the rest of the game. Crypto eats the Superman suppression. You can see Superman is back. And I didn't want to use my ult because we don't have our DPS just yet. But she's here now. So I don't know what that root is of Crypto's, if that's his ult or what. But that's my ult. And since they're in no position to face us, this is our opportunity to push this into the tower and potentially take it or pick off any stragglers. And in this case, we go for the straggler route. Sadly, I didn't know Flash came down here. He's going to run right into me. So, yeah, there wasn't really a way for me to get away from him. And I think the main reason why he was there was for Raider. I don't think Shazam is a good person to take that. 
Right here I'm looking at what mods I have attached to this. The one that increases the magnitude of the slow, so that's why I definitely want that item. Doomsday device activation in 60 seconds. And I came over here to try to charge my passive before heading on over to the raider. And we got to see some of them flicker on the map there, so something was going on. So we had to make sure we got that, and right there I messed up with the Q. I meant to put that into my passive, and the stun would have lasted a little while longer. In the turn, big picture, it doesn't matter because I still got the assist. And if you're wondering how I got the assist on Crypto, he dashed through the lightning field. He's not invulnerable or anything while jumping around, so he took some damage, and as a result, I get the assist. And the big play of this game, I will say, is when we are fighting for the top power relay. I'm not going to spoil that one for you, but we get to have a little bit of an explosive finale sure. to this game. So I don't have Robin here with me this time. He's off taking a camp, but I can go ahead and nab the power relay so that we still get our credit bonus. And sadly, Mecha Wonderwind did bite the dust. So we have eyes on Flash. I fear he's probably coming for me. I don't know if he's stronger or if I'm stronger, and I want to stick around to find out. I think since Flash is an assassin, the skirmish might lean in his favor. And being topped off wouldn't hurt. Our top turret is under attack. So I don't remember if Shazam had any health ratios offhand. But if he does, then the Royal Seal is kind of double dipping. It gives you two worthwhile stats for the price of just one item, plus the utility that goes with it. And I don't know if they have cameras down here or not, which is why I'm a little leery. The thing is, since we're doing the double jungler strategy, it's only like there's one lane for me to gank. If I can't do anything down here, I should be farming. And right there, Crypto tried to body black for Joker. And I have a little bit of durability to tank. Yeah, she thinks Superman, not Shazam. Um, yeah. An enemy is and Sinestro place. picks up Star Sapphire. Going back. Enemy has been know what's about to hit him. And now I have rank two in my ult. The ult has a two minute cooldown, and I don't think there's anything I can do to bring that down other than buying CDR. One of the things that I don't like about Shazam, even though his ult is kind of cool, he's really good at taking down blasters because of the silence that goes with it. And you'll see what I mean when we get to the fight at the top relay, which is coming up kind of soon since there's less than five minutes left in the game. Champion of magic coming through. Our top turret is under attack. And hopefully seeing the speed that I clear those kind of clues you in on why it's important, I think, to max the lightning field first. And right here I just wanted to join with clearing join up with them to clear those because our tower is taking a lot of punishment. Some of it which is probably needless. And just like every other gank I made so far, I want to try to loop around the Taze Joker right there. And I had the Q, and someone's in the shadow. Ah, uh, Superman. 
Sadly, unfortunately, for the last son of Krypton there, he has two weaknesses, Kryptonite and Magic, so if this were true to story, I should be able to beat him in a straight up fight. So, I don't know if we take the Raider or if we just go for the top lane finale. The enemy does throw in the towel here, and I don't know whether or not that was justified exactly. That's a strange matchup we have going on here. Oh, I missed the Q. Know. So right there I pop super speed, I end up kind of like body blocking Superman I think, but he has the Nightmare Superman passive and I can't kill Superman in time to get Nightmare Superman back. But once I have Sapphire with me, then things kind of skew in my favor. So I made sure to use the W for the surge of defensive stats. And sadly I'm of no help to them in my current shape, so I just want to get back and get to safety. Additionally I can also grab this on the way out. Now you saw Superman just drop, but there's about to be an ugly fight for this relay in a second. So right there I have it maxed, and here I want the Kryptonian War Armor. Yeah, the Kryptonian War Armor because of the movement speed and the region that goes with it. I don't remember what type of damage Crypto does, but Flash I think is AD, so the Bracers wouldn't exactly be a bad pickup here either. So, telling my team that I'm on my way top because I want them to follow up. Because I'm going to ult that relay. All of them are standing on it, that means they're sitting ducks. And here we go. So they were silenced, unable to defend themselves for a moment. I tank as much as I can. And then Sapphire and Wonder Woman just blow the whole entire team down. So while I do die, that's four assists for me. Not to mention we also get the relay. An ally is relentless. So it was a suicide play, yes, but we gained a lot off of that. And that's pretty much the end of the game. They threw in the towel there, they didn't want to wait for Superman to come back. But this was the smallest taste of what Shazam is like. We'll take a look at the scorecard and then we'll wrap things up. So I'm close to getting his barrier, but I don't really like any of the barrier powers. You can see the numbers there, I didn't really have the most of anything other than caps. And you can see the exact numbers here. So thoughts and observations be going in the description. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.